Hello and welcome to the series where I review games and rate them 1 through 50. 1 being absolute dog crap and 50 being the best game in the world. Let's begin. Today we're going to be talking about Cuphead, a game I have a love-hate relationship with. One minute I'm running around beating the crap out of bosses and having fun. Next minute I'm fighting Dr. Cal. Cuphead is another very difficult game with a boss rush style gameplay and plenty of weapons, charms, and all sorts of fun stuff. Still regarded to be one of the hardest games out there, albeit hard to believe because I beat it twice. There are a total of 28 bosses, not including DLC, being the Root Pack, Goopy Legrand, Hildeberg, Cagney Carnation, and Ruby and Croaks for IL-1, Baroness von Bonbon, Beppy the Clown, Jimmy the Great, Grim Matchstick and Wally Warbles for Isle 2, Rumor Honeybottoms, Captain Brinybeard, Sally Stageplay, Werner Worman, Dr. Kyle's Robot, Cal and Maria, and the Phantom Express for Isle 3, King Dice, and the Devil for Inkwell Hell. Woo! That was a lot. Cuphead and his brother Mugman stroll up to this casino run by the Devil, underage, mind you, and go gambling. Do not try this at home. They're doing good until King Dice brings the devil over to make a deal with Cuphead. And like the idiot is, he takes the deal. And he rolls snake eyes. Lesson learned, kids. Don't gamble. Now, in order to not get their souls taken, they have to kill a bunch of people and steal their souls to give to the devil because they have, like, debt or something. I don't know. And then you go back to the devil and either give him the souls and make these people damned forever and become evil, or... Kill the devil and burn all the soul contracts, releasing their souls. And that's about it. If I missed anything, make sure to let me know. Otherwise, let's move on. As opposed to my original script of... I hate Dr. Cal, 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 I hate... Yeah. I think the one I decided on was good. All jokes aside, I love this game. And even if I get mad... And die. A lot. I think the vast array of weapons and charm combos leave a lot of personality and customization in every playthrough. And expert mode allowing you to play through the game again, but harder. There are tons of little secrets like hidden coins, pathways, and much more. Along with plane levels mixed in for some variety, I give this game a solid 28 out of 50. This game is fun. And I go back to it every now and again. And have a great time. If you haven't played it, definitely check it out. It's tons of fun. Also, it has local co-op. If you'd like to see a game review of the DLC, or maybe a video of me playing expert mode, let me know in the comments below. But I won't keep you here for much longer. See you in the next one.